Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Corey, this is CNR Studios, and today we are looking at my 2022 Black Friday haul, so stay tuned. All right, so welcome back to the channel. We had recently the full room tour, so if you have not seen that, go back on the channel, take a look at it. It was a lot of fun to do. Pretty cool, and as we've kind of transitioned to later in the year, uh, my video output has not been that high with work. This is our busy time of the year, so I'm working a lot and just other family commitments and other things going on. So I've had to take a little bit of a step back, but today I want to come at you with a little bit of a haul video. If you notice in the thumbnail, it's not nearly as large as what they've been in the past. But that doesn't mean I haven't been acquiring some things in this time. I just really haven't had time to make videos because recently I got the Bethel's Panther. On top of that, then I had to get the Pershing. So these, if you look at the prices, these were not cheap kits, but these are extremely well done, exclusive kit, especially with the signed autograph copy of Spearhead. Very cool. As well as I did take advantage of the VIP weekend sale, the weekend before Black Friday through Lego, picked up the ATT and Creator 3-in-1 Viking ship. So with that, I got, I think, three separate promos, the Lego house promo, the holiday promo, as well as like the little baking sheet. So that was pretty good one to take advantage of at the time. But with Black Friday, I did happen to work a lot, was, but was still able to um, take advantage of some deals and sales. So I figured we would start with the small ones first. And I think for the first one is going to be this guy. So this technically I did not buy on Black Friday, Friday weekend. It just happened to ship now. And it's a parts pack. It's a parts pack for a kit I don't even own, but I want to. And I plan to within the next year. So if you follow Brick Designers, I have some of their parts kits already. And some I really need to build kits for. Just... You know, I have so much time and energy, but if you kind of can tell, this is the printed parts pack for the Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series Razor Crest. So one of my favorite things they do is you get this incredible, absolutely incredible tile, printed tile with the Razor Crest information on it, as well all of these pieces. So printed pieces, basically replacing stickers. I also got two different carbonized. There we go. And then just some cool stuff. This is a cool one I saw. And then usually with these tiles packed, I throw in a just fun brick designer's tile. That is, of course. Mandalorian and the Child. So very cool. Got some Imperial style crates, control panels, all kinds of stuff. I don't think this one came with any form of instruction. So it should be pretty much a, uh, just take everything off that stickers and put on these guys instead. So that is pretty cool. Next up is K-Town Bricks. So K-Town Bricks, if you guys might know, does a lot of medieval and historical themed stuff, as well as some pop culture I fantasy items as well in Legendarium. So I bought a couple things, I didn't buy too much. Again, it was pretty mild for the most part. So order info, and a cool thing about them, they do wrap everything like in this kind of nice tissue paper. So to start off, you get a K-Town sticker. I got a couple custom printed tiles. So from the holiday selection, I got kind of like a Raven. Then a, from uh, the legendary Legend of King Arthur, the Sword in the Stone. Then from Monty Python, Indiana Jones, Quest for the Holy Grail. And of course, a sword that I'm kind of making Excalibur, but I think it was supposed to be King Henry's sword. 
And then for figures, I got a couple. I got a Jerusalem um, Knight with the blue Crest of Jerusalem sword and then appropriate shield. Very cool. And then kind of for my medieval scene, I have some of the Forest Men and the, I have a couple of those sets plus the Forest Men that came with the Lion's Knight Castle. I figured they needed a leader. And who's better leader of Forest Men, leader of Merry Men? And that is Robin Hood. So this Robin Hood figure looks pretty epic. And K-Town uh, uses a lot of pad printing. So it has the look and feel of Lego. So on it, it has a tile for the reward of Robin of the Hood. Pretty cool. And you get Robin and his bow. I wish it would have come with a Lego quiver as well, but just some pretty cool artwork. I love how it maintains that Lego. So it feels like authentic Lego without, well, authentic Lego art without being from Lego group. So very cool, very nice addition to the collection. Put these back and even on some of these type of, of figures, they do some special artwork for the packaging. And it says on the back, K-Town Bricks, the villainous outlaw, Robin of the Hood, which I find is pretty, pretty cool and something I greatly appreciate. I don't get a ton from them um, because of all the other options out there, but those are some I'm glad to have. And as many of you might know, Citizen Brick usually has a pretty epic holiday sale. I think they had at least the Lowrider kit and maybe one other kit released as well as a lot of pretty epic minifigures. However, I only got one. Um, I was at work when their sales going on, so I didn't get a whole lot. But I was able to get this one, and it's continuing my, my John collection. So last year, I've got John Wick. This year, we got the One Man Army, also known as John Rambo. Uh, if you've not seen First Blood, I highly recommend the film. I also highly recommend the book First Blood. It is a retelling of the Vietnam War on American soil. Uh, Morel does a fantastic job with painting that picture. Um, they're visceral, they're violent. They kind of show um, what, try to show what war is. So that's really cool. I don't know if I'll ever open it. I'll probably put it next to my John Wick character. I think that'll be pretty epic. Move these boxes out of the way. So the next one we'll do, we'll save Brick Mania for last because you know that's what everyone comes for. We'll do from the Lego group. So as I said, I did get some Lego the previous week before Black Friday for the VIP sale. However, they do always do some Black Friday stuff. I didn't get anything to really qualify for any of their gift with purchases because we really don't want to spend too much money but if you all don't follow they've been doing some different vip rewards that you for kits for points and a lot of them lately have been their bricktober event series so if you're not familiar in this country bricktober doesn't exist i guess it doesn't exist in this country if you're not familiar it's a canadian toys r us um theme so they you release a kit, you know, a special gift purchase once a week. You have to hit a certain dollar amount, and you get that kit if you follow Brixie or Brixie's channel. He's Canadian, lives in Edmonton. He talks about us, shows it. And this year, the, the past couple years has been like ride theme, like for carnivals. Um, this year, however, they made them actually minifig scale, scale before they've been in micro scale. So I got one that I thought was cool because I want to put in my medieval, medieval area because it's it's fun. It's Lego. Why not? It is the Dragon Ride. So specifically, 6432434, doesn't really have a name. I'm calling it the Dragon Ride. It comes with a Black Falcon shield as well as helmet. Has the Lego logo, which I think is a print. A slot for a coin. And I thought it'd be fun to include if I ever do like a tournament in my Lego 
medieval scene. I'm definitely including that as an attraction because I think that'd be absolutely hilarious. So that was pretty cool. Is it worth, it's like 23 or 2400 points. So it's probably like 20, 25 dollars for 168 pieces. Probably not, but it is limited. Uh, I thought it was still cool, and I wish they would do something like this in this country with either Target or... Next on there, I bought a Christmas gift for a friend, and that is the epic Clone Wars minifig pack. So you get two standard Phase 1 troopers plus a Phase 1 commander. Uh, it's also the same one that was in the advent calendar that came out, and you get like a weapon stand and a little command station. So I think you'd appreciate that. It'll be fun to give it to him. We kind of do some little gift exchange every year. And then I was scrolling through their like sale section. And this year, more so than years recent years, they've had like a, quite a few sets on sale at reduced prices. Uh, nothing really that I was like, try to stay within the budget. So I don't want to spend too much. But there was one kit I've had my on. I never added it to my favorites, but I've always kind of wanted it because I have another kit I think it would look good with. And it's kind of in my comic book section. And that is the Batcave. So this is specifically set 768183 Batcave, the Riddler face-off. And you can kind of see, it's kind of cool because it has like the old, what is it, the uh, terminal station. And then it has all of like the supercomputer and all those tools and everything like that as well if you can see there's the ability to add the batmobile which i have on top of it or onto it you kind of remove the main workstation which you can put you know adjacent to it if you want so i think that'll be pretty cool um also for the price i think it was around a little under $50, you get Batman, the Riddler, James Gordon, Selena Kyle, Alfred, and Bruce Wayne as his kind of drifter outfit. So you get some good minifigs, you get 581 pieces, a lot of tools. Um, so I thought in general it was a pretty good value for what you get. And I love the movie, I have the Batmobile, I think it would be pretty cool together. So that's what I got. All right, and now probably what everyone's been waiting for, Brickmania stuff. So I didn't get Go Ham, um, obviously with buying the Bethel's Panther and the Purging. I didn't want to, I already kind of spend a lot of my funds for this time. And there's one major Lego set I really want to get that's not the Razor Crest. So I'll keep that for another day. So I got some things, I thought some stuff that were pretty cool. And we'll kind of go over that. So the first thing I did qualify to get the calendar, though I did not qualify to get the Perfect Caliber um, weapons pack for like the Landos Randos theme, but I got the calendar. And some pretty epic kits on the back. Order sheet. I got the planner because I like to be organized and I thought it looked kind of cool. Pull that up here and take a look at it see if it's even worth it um i'm coming out with some more lifestyle stuff like i thought you know this is kind of cool so yeah it has some of like artwork throughout some like renders of different drawings which i think is cool and like a lego fashion and you get like a whole month and then on top of that the individual day so that's pretty cool what else did I get? Oh, a couple minifigs. So these are their gen. Oh, sorry, I got, forgot about this one. Ukrainian Artillery Infantry, as well as a World War II Sergeant, version two, the newest one. I don't know if you kind of can see that super well, the glare. Why did I get the Ukrainian Artillery Men? It's because I got the M777 155mm howitzer. Obviously, this is through their Benefit Bricks platform to help raise funds for the people in the in Ukraine, which I think is pretty cool. Cause this one's specific for United 24, it looks like. Um, very cool. They did a ton of these kits. So, this is number 160. It is 238 pieces. That awesome printed 
muzzle brake. I wanted to get the original kit, but I didn't want it with the truck just because that really added the price. I just wanted the artillery piece, so this was the way to get it. So that's pretty cool. And then the final thing, they're exclusive for Black Friday. If I get all these, was the Off World Dragoons, which is from Pretty Pop Culture Movie, which now means I need to get the Smart Gunner because I've not bought that yet. These are pretty epic looking minifigs. And with Lando gone, which I was curious to see, of course these do not want to open. So they have now left, we used to say Lando, on the back of the Lego leg. It does not blank, it still has the Brickmania logo, but I thought that was interesting. And you can kind of see with these brick arms, pieces, 3D print helmet, and kind of like shoulder pads. These look very epic for a futuristic army. And looks like all of them have the same weapon. They just look extremely epic figures. I'm a big fan of when they go into pop culture. Obviously, they can't do it a ton because of, you know, licensing properties. But those just look really epic. So, put these back together here. All right. So, that was pretty much it for Black Friday of... 2022 got some mini foods and artillery from brick mania as well as the calendar or not the calendar the planner the calendar batman set some christmas gifts and some other custom minifigures and custom prints otherwise i hope you all like the video please give a thumbs up a, a comment a subscription it would be wonderful subscribe subscription whatever youtubers say Hashtag not a YouTuber. I just like to have fun and talk to you guys about Lego. So if you like that, come on board, follow along. I think next I've been going through a long process of sorting a lot of Lego and kind of developing a new program because I'd like over here, as I showed in my room tour, to get really going on my like little city and some mocks and things like that. But in order to do that, I need to get all of my pieces and parts sorted, which have been long time coming there's a pretty a pretty large brickling quarter i did that i need to do sorting from just a bunch of stuff i've gotten it through a decent amount feels like i haven't broken it made a dent at least but still a bit to go so if you want to see that and hang on it'll be coming up soon otherwise have a great day happy holidays and of course merry christmas